Howdy, howdy. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Uh, I thought I'd shoot a quick little video here. I just walked into Wells Fargo Bank. Now, if you're like me and like a lot of people, I mean, we're all about convenience nowadays. So usually we don't walk into banks anymore. If I have a check to deposit, I'll usually just deposit, you know, via, you know, the app or, uh, you know, I go through the drive through You're always in a rush. So you don't really go into your bank all that often. But I've been banking at Wells Fargo now for, I think, going on like 19 or 20 years. It's been a long relationship. I think before that it was like Suncoast and then it became Wells Fargo. But the reason for this video is, you know, you're all about in business, it's all about relationships and how you make people feel. You know, someone would ask me, you know, why have you stayed with Wells Fargo, um, you know, all those years? You can get better rates at a credit union. You can get, uh, you know, better service at Chase Visa or, you know, you know, any other banks. And the reason why I keep coming back to Wells Fargo is the way they make me feel. It's very cool when you walk in and your banker knows who you are, even if you don't go in that often. So I just walked in here. I had to you know, switch up some accounts. I walked in for the first time in, in four months. I was here in November. If you remember, or uh, no, it is November. I was here in July. If you remember in July, I posted a video saying me and my son, we created an account to climb Kilimanjaro. And for his 18th birthday or when he graduates high school, we're going to climb Kilimanjaro. So we, we created a savings account. So I walked in. The first thing the banker says to me, he walks up and he goes, he goes, Jason, he goes, how's the account coming? You guys getting closer to climbing Kilimanjaro? And right away, you're like, geez, I haven't been in here in four months. You know, that I don't come in here all that often, but you, you're remembered. It's, it's how you make people feel. And immediately you feel at ease. You're like, wow, this is really cool. So you wouldn't leave their business over a smaller rate or a better deal. So in your business and in your life, how are you making your clients or your customers feel? What are you doing that little extra? You know, is it a, you know, is it a leaving, leaving a mint? You know, Olive Garden leaves mints all the time. If you heard me speak, I talk about, you know, it's the littlest things. It's a thank you card. Uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's a happy birthday. It's, you know, just remembering the littlest things, but how do you make people feel in business is how you get people to stay with you and become lifelong customers, become advocates and they'll go out there and they'll tell their friends, they'll tell people about it. So at the end of the day, make people feel good. I hope this video makes you feel good and you go out there and you, uh, you do one thing, just that little tweak. I always say in business, it's not about changing everything. It's not about taking one thing and changing it a hundred percent. It's taking a hundred things and changing them by 1%. And that's how you increase your business. That's how you increase it. Hey, if all it means is just remembering somebody's name, remembering, you know, their a, a birthday or remembering Kilimanjaro account. So Wells Fargo, they have my business.